with Patrick Emery. Went to Pittsburgh, then to St. Louis, then to Los Angeles, back to St. Louis, here to Indianapolis, and now on to Philadelphia. Ross Becker will keep you up to date over this weekend. Cameron and Marianne will carry on from here starting Monday. Do have a very pleasant weekend. Good luck. Thank you. Good night, everybody. April of 1980, Patrick Emery leaving Indianapolis, the 21st biggest market in the country, for Philadelphia, the fourth biggest. From a purely career standpoint, Philadelphia's a very good move. You know, that may just be it. I mean, that's, that's getting pretty high in your, in your profession when you reach the fourth market in the country. I could be very happy with that for quite a while. Patrick Emery is one of four television news personalities that we've been tracking for the last two years for this story. He did indeed set off for Philadelphia with high hopes that that would last a good long while, but it didn't. The program that he was anchoring did not show any increase in ratings, and so after a year, the station let him go. And Patrick Emery had to make his seventh move in this business. Two, Atlanta. Today, Patrick Emery is one of many anchors on Ted Turner's cable news network, CNN. I'm Patrick Emery. I'm Beverly Williams. Dave Walker, Lois Hart are coming up. Stay with us, and thank you for joining us. And in the spring of 1980, in Beaumont, Texas, the 120th market, Rick DeReyes setting off for Oklahoma City, the 39th. There will be an investigation of the Hardin County Sheriff's Department by the end of this week. When the money's right, you move. It's unfortunate, but it's true. It's part of the system. A system that encourages transients. The longest period I've ever spent at a station was two years. If, you're, if you like this business enough, and if you're used to this business enough, moving is, is part of it. I don't, I don't want to move anymore. I don't want to move anymore. You take care of Iran? After eight moves, John Hambrick has finally arrived where most anchors want to be. The number one market, New York City. He is at WNBC and two years ago was anchoring their weekend news program. From WNBC Television, this is New Center 4. Things went well. In October of 80, he moved to the 6 o'clock news. New York. And his ratings and the stations have continued to climb. Good evening. The case John Hambrick seems to be Jack set for some time. The convict author is with the jury tonight. While John Hambrick doesn't want to move again, Bella Shaw would love to. Here's today in Oklahoma. Good morning, everyone. Today is the day the state Supreme Court takes up that controversial state income tax question. My first step was sending out some feelers <laughs> and asking these news directors, please take a look at my tape and uh, give me a critique. When you want a new job in television news, you make an audition tape of your best work, send it around to other stations and hope someone likes it. Let me just tell you, my name is Bella Shaw and here's what I can do for you. Legislative leaders have reached agreement on a budget that includes a $26 million tax cut. Governor and I will deliver his state of the state message. First of all, your initial reaction to the returns is it closer than you thought? Any surprises so far? I don't it seems that the governor and I'm the from Oklahoma. Pretty much this is my first job in television. All my friends are here. And then at it's scary to go off by yourself in a big city. But Maybe somewhere down the road there'll come a time when I'll be able to cover the signing of a Mideast peace treaty. I can't do that in Oklahoma City. When does your contract expire? Another way to make a move is to use a consultant. Headhunters, they're called in the trade. Shirley Barish is a headhunter. She'll add your tape to her collection and try to match your desire to move with a station's need for someone new. All for a fee, for Shirley Barish, the transience is a way of making a living. To get a better job generally means moving to a bigger market. And we're dealing with egos. Everybody likes to be flattered by being offered bigger market jobs and more money. Well, Rick, welcome aboard. We're delighted to have you with us. 
Bill wants to meet uh, Rick DeReyes. Oh, well, yeah, Rick, Rick. How are you? Nice to meet you. You're going to get a time card each week. Has that been told to you? Yeah, fill it out at the end of each day, or? No, just fill it out when your schedule is complete. Well, while Bella Shaw wanted to leave Oklahoma City, Rick DeReyes was delighted to be arriving. I've actually made three moves, and in each of those cases, there's a definite feeling of being lost. Uh, and then, uh, because you, you don't know where you're going. You don't know the people you're dealing with. You don't know uh, the people you're working with, personally. I, I feel kind of apprehensive taking this guy's place. You, you kind of get, you, you get a, a lost feeling sometimes that maybe, you know, what, what the heck am I doing here? You look at an anchor person or a reporter on the air and you think, they're from here, you know, they, they know the town and, and they're telling it like it is. When in all probability, they're strangers. She is still in Oklahoma City, where she does know the town. People on a merry-go-round chasing the brass ring because they know that one day the brass ring could be gold. And not only on-the-air people, but news directors, those who run the local news departments, who decide what news is covered, what goes on the air, who goes on the air. News directors move, too, to try to get ahead. For example, Mark Pierce, My uncle thinks I'm running from the police, to, to, to be quite frank with you. And I still, I still haven't uh, convinced my mother that I do have a le legitimate job uh, in the world today. We set a new record today. I originally got in this business to be a newsman, not to be an employment agency. I don't like that part of the job, but it's a very big and important part of the job. Big and important? Well, Pierce knows that the station's success and his own rests as much on who reads the news as what is in the news. So he looks at a lot of tapes. Everybody seems to be looking for a job. If the money, you know, not to jeopardize my position here, but if the money was good and the station offered it, another station offered everything this station did and more, I hate to say this, but I'd be a fool not to take it. And I'm sure anybody else in any other newsroom would say the same thing. They'd be a fool not to take it. Someone else did offer more, and so after a little more than a year in Oklahoma City, Rick DeReyes moved again to Los Angeles. Filling in for Ron Fairley tonight, who's up in Oakland with the California Angels. Here's our own Rick DeReyes. Rick. Thank you, Hal. And Mark Pierce, the news director, is still in Indianapolis, still no doubt scratching his head and saying, this system is crazy. We'll be back in a moment with Garrett Utley.